Hey class, welcome back from Thanksgiving break. I hope you, hope you had a good time with family. Uh, I've gone in and watched all of your uh, Reflection 1.9 recordings. Um, we're reflecting back on the technologies that were used in a specific technology experience in the class that you were doing your practicum in. Um, there were a lot of technologies represented in the postings from you know, the smart boards, to the document cameras, to iPads, uh, to, let's see, let me look at some of my notes, computers, clickers in some cases. Uh, there were quite a few classes that used uh, Kindle Fires for doing a reading program. Uh, uh, some uh, schools had a program called Raz Kids for uh, uh, measuring student comprehension. We had other students uh, like uh, uh, Brittany who um, whose teacher used an iPad uh, to uh, do Dibbles testing so basically to track and mark um, student uh, proficiency with uh, their reading skills, fluency, etc. So there are a lot of different technologies used by far and away, the most common technology used in your practicum experiences was the document camera. And it was both good and bad. I don't know if you remember back uh, in the day when teachers used uh, the overhead projector. The document camera is a more powerful version of the overhead projector where you can, you can use it just to write uh, things down and demonstrate writing. Uh, or you can use it for other things like for science projects or for um, zooming in on small objects, for reading, book, making books really big so that students can read along with them. I would say uh, a lot of the teachers just used it in a productivity mode from what it sounded like, uh, just to show or to demonstrate things. The teachers that used it for even uh, in an even better way were the ones that had students come up to the document camera and use the document camera uh, themselves to to model or show how they would work a problem or something like that. So that, that was really great. Um, I, I hope that through your experience, ma many of you gave some really great ideas for how you might build on what the teacher's done or how you might use the technology differently than the teacher itself. And one of the things that I'm really hoping that you take away from your experience and as you prepare to go out and be a teacher is that the more the technology's in the hands of the students, the more the students are using the technology, the, the greater the possibilities for their learning will be. You know, when students have access to, uh, in the olden days when students had ac access to a slate and a chalk, they were then able to start writing and using that as a tool for their own learning to create and to, to generate, and display their knowledge. And it's the same, uh, it's the same nowadays. Uh, the more we get the technology into the hands of the students, they'll be able to use the technology to uh, create things and to demonstrate their own knowledge. So uh, that's kind of the golden standard, even though many of your classrooms right now don't have enough technology for each of the students to you know, have their own or use their own. But that's kind of the, the goal that I hope you'll you'll be shooting for and certainly I think in your lifetimes as a teacher we'll start seeing one-to-one -one computing happening probably with probably with mobile devices uh, like iPads or Kindles or things like that. Anyway I, I look forward to seeing you uh, last day of class um, and uh, seeing your presentations. Uh, email me if you have any questions, and we'll look forward to seeing you then. Bye.